This week on Wildcat News, we learn more about how the food pantry has continued to stay open during the coronavirus, and we talk with students about upcoming college applications. All these stories and more coming up because Wildcat News starts now. Good morning, West Johnston. I'm Miranda Bean. Due to COVID-19, the food pantry has worked to change and modify how they serve the community. Katherine Green reports. Over the past few months, the food pantry has continued to stay open to the community despite major changes made because of COVID-19. Media specialist Anissa Holm explains the purpose of the food pantry at this time. Right now, we are continuing with our original purpose, and that's to provide uh, food to families in our community that are experiencing uh, food insecurity. But the biggest piece we're missing is that where we were formerly a student-led service project, we've had to adapt and change up our process a little bit. Senior Cheyenne Otero is a regular student volunteer and discusses what it is like for her to not be able to participate with the pantry regularly during the coronavirus. It is very unfortunate because I've been volunteering there since the summer before freshman year and it is something I look forward to doing in my free time, so not being able to help, especially when it is needed more than ever, really stinks. English teacher Elizabeth Gherkin explains how the community has continued to show support for the pantry. Yeah, we've had a huge outpouring from support from our community, just in an abundance. Um, every week we've had lots and lots to sort and go through, and um, we've been getting monetary donations as well. Yeah. Um, so while we do miss our students and their work, um, we've had so many people step up and help us over this time. Otero shares her hopes for the pantry. I hope that students can get back to the pantry and volunteer again, and if not, then I hope the teachers find a way to organize something that is easier on them and isn't very stressful. I'm Catherine Green, Wildcat News. Thanks, Catherine. As fall approaches, some students are getting ready to fill out college applications. Allison Wade reports. The year is full of fun for many students, but also responsibilities. As college application deadlines are fast approaching, many students are working to complete their profiles. Senior Griffin Brown shares how students can apply. Um, I've applied to multiple colleges in different ways. Um, one way was through an email. Um, the college contacted me um, and I applied that way. They sent me a link and I was able to fill out all my information through there. Um, another way is through Common App which allows me to like do college applications like all at one place and stores data for like frequently asked stuff. Senior Faith Hire explains the common application process. Uh, they have a common app essay, which every college that you apply to requires, at least that I've applied to. And it's a personal essay. They give you, I think it's six or seven different topics to choose from. Um, so you start with that, you fill out personal information, like your contact information, people they need to contact in case something happens. Um, that's it for common and that each college requires a different thing. They ask you about your grades, your academics, uh, any sports or activities you're included in. So I put what I was included in. Due to Corona, this year's application requirements changed for many colleges. Hire talks about how this affected her. For this year, for the applications, they are not requiring the SAT and ACT, but uh, at the beginning of the summer, they were requiring it. They hadn't let out the information yet. And so the entire summer, I was stressing about getting date for the ACT and the SAT. The SAT is scheduled for Saturday, so I'm going to take that then unless it gets canceled. Senior Isabella Insignara shares her advice for applicants. You really need to be thinking about this stuff from the beginning of high school. And like, if you haven't, that's okay too. But like, you need to be taking your classes seriously, especially in junior year, because that's how you're applying to colleges. And um, like starting commitments like volunteer hours and projects and stuff as early as like freshman year that's showing a continued and consistent character development thing happening. I'm Allison Wade, Wildcat News. Thanks Allison. Well that's all for us this week. If you have any comments, questions, or story leads email us at wjstudentmedia at gmail.com or send us a tweet at wjstudentmedia. And if you want to watch Wildcat News at home on the go or catch up on past episodes, go to wjstudentmedia.com or subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'm Miranda Bean. Thanks for watching and have a great week.